Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we're gonna start on the power plant, and I think we're gonna head to Cerulean City because there are a bunch of people and shit to fight. That's probably where we'll stop, and I'll stop till yeah, I'll stop recording till a little bit later. May I think I'll try and record one or two more episodes tonight, and then and then I'll get started on a couple more tomorrow, um, because I'll have the time, haha, <laughs> and all that good shit. But um. Yeah, this is what we have on the uh, on the plate for today. It's just it's just Kanto's power plant stuff. Do we see? I think we see Zepdos here or no? I mean, I know we catch it here later or are supposed to. Like, what's up with the grass? Like, that's entirely uncapped. Isn't that awkward? How there's like that one little patch that's just you no know, got no grass right there. But anyhow, let's go fucking talkie talkie. Yeah, what is the world coming to? I don't know, dude. Maybe we should stop holding that cough and go fucking do something about that shit. No? Not too much for you? Yeah, that's alright. That's right. Generator's useless. Do you have a Doug Trio? I ain't trading you Senor Three Dicks for that shit. Uh uh. Uh uh. How's your coffee? And at times, furious. The guy's fucking bipolar. He's flipping out. He's like, I'm sad. Wow, I'm gonna kill everybody. And the magnet train. The magnet train. I don't know if I've even fucking been on that. Honestly. I really don't think I've been on it. But anyhow. Alright, fat guy. I'm ready to blast something. Ah. I spent so much time fixing it. Did you? Did you? Did you? Alright. Now that we've done the whole story bullshit trigger to hey. To say. To hey. To hey. To say. Hey yo. Go do that shit. Now it's like hey. Dude. Really go do that shit. Why are you walking all the way? Oh, that appears that a shitty character. It's that one guy who's like, oh, viva la revolution. See what I did? I kind of kind of stumbled all over that shit. That's funny. Cause you're laughing at me. Cause I can't enunciate. So I just talk too fast. Or I should just, or I, or I should just say my my brain's too fast for my tongue. Does that does that make sense? Is that is that cool? No, fine. Fuck you then. But anyhow, that's this. Is, wow. Fuck. I hate that shit. God, I hate that. I hate how moving and turning like that actually accounts for something in terms of you know taking a step or whatever. I hate that shit so much. So much. You do not understand the depth of my hatred for that shit. Seriously, my hatred knows no bounds for that. That's dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. And I hate how you can just like jump out there. It's like da 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 da. Then rah, goldines and shit all up in your face. I'm like, whoa, dude. Whoa, and why is the water red? It's like fucking blood red here, dude. I mean, I understand it's like twilight or whatever you want to call it that I'm playing this game during. It's 6:30, by the way. But I mean, why, why would the water be red? Where on Earth or Pokey Earth or whatever the fuck it's called? Have, we, have they actually addressed that yet? Have they actually called, you know, I mean, I know they have their regions and shit like that, but have they, you know, uh, what's the political structure of the Pokemon world, or, or what's, what's the, do they even call it Earth? I mean, seriously? I mean, I don't, I mean, I'm sure they've referred to it in a generic sense, as in Earth, meaning synonymous with dirt. A lot, a lot of people say shit like that, but, you know, I mean... But what about the other planets in their solar system? Have they addressed any of that? I'm just curious. I mean, at, you know, I haven't watched, you know, like, every episode or done all sorts of fucking research on this shit. But these are the questions that just, you know, that just pop up in my mind. This is the shit that I think about. Because I'm fucking crazy. Don't you know that? I'm crazy. Absolutely, yeah, I probably am fucking crazy. And that's that's probably not even a joke. But, you know, that's what this purple fucking Gatorade does to me. Yeah. Yeah, that Skip Bloom can, can go take a nap. Rick is just level 49. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Why didn't I use Pele there? <laughs> you're gonna use, you're gonna use another one. Let's get Pele some love. Let's get Pele out there. Look, Pele is almost 49 as well. Pele is level 48. Oh, halfway through 48 even too. Look at that. Look at you, Pele. Getting some love. 
You haven't seen too many too many plant types in this game. And I, if I remember, I think there are more on this side than on the other one. I think. I'm not sure. Because, I mean, we do have... Don't we have still Erica's gym and shit like that? So... We have a reason to at least use fire and stuff here for a little bit. But, I mean, we'll, we'll see... We'll see how far, specifically, we get with that. But, okay. Oh, oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. How much you want to bet? How much... How much you want to bet? I don't think we have to fight all the people out here right now. If I remember right. I think we actually skip about half of them because of the way the path is all weird and shit. And you have to actually come back and get a few of them. I think there's only like five or six on here even too. Ah, thank you, telephone. For making noise when I'm doing things like recording and stuff. That's that's helpful. Very helpful. We have man, god damn it. I knew he'd have something like this. A little fucking mega onyx going on and shit. Mega mega fucking Steelix. Which is which is interesting. You know, I, that's another Pokemon that I've never used. I have never used. I've used an Onyx, but I have never used a Steelix. That's, that's that's your fun fact for the day. I have never used a Steelix. Hmm. Maybe that's something we should do sometime. I mean, obviously, it's all depending on uh, dependent upon whether or not we get a metal coat and all that shit. But I'm assuming. I'm assuming in Omega Ruby and all that shit, if these things are going to be a thing, they're going to give you a way to obtain them at some point. You know what I mean? I just, hopefully that, um, hopefully good old metal coats aren't found at the very end of the game, which I hate when they do that. God. I really do not like that shit at all. I hate when they do that. I really, really do. Because it's like... Like, at a reasonable midpoint in the game, you know, like your third or fourth gym in, I'm perfectly fine with, you know, here's a metal coat or, you know, something like that. Like when we got it, you know, here in the, on, on the boat, sure, uh, you know, our Pokemon are level 50 something, but we are pretty much halfway through the game at the SSN, give or take. And therefore, you know, it's kind of reasonable to give us something like a metal coat. I would appreciate them giving us all that sort of shit, like electrizers and all that shit, you know. And whatever the hell the one is for the for Magmar, I don't remember. You know what I'm saying, I mean, I, I, you know, just things like that. I wish they'd give us all that shit, you know, at a midpoint in the game, because then, you know, you have something to look, to, look forward to. Because that's something that, that's a big thing to me. Like, whenever I play games, whether it's MMOs, or, or, uh, ooh, a gold is, is he part psychic or is he still just water? I can never remember that. Um, but for me, like in MMOs or any RPG or anything, you know, stuff like this, he's, he's in him, but dude, that's cute. Um, it's, it's important for me to have something, like something obtainable, some sort of goal that I can reach. You know, and, and I mean that in, in, you know, like, I need something to, like, work toward. Like, a piece of armor. If I'm level 50 and I have this piece of armor that I have to be level 62 to wear, you know, or something like that, that's important to me. Because then it gives me a reason to get there. Otherwise, you know, I'll lose interest in it when you get to a point where it's like, you know, well, well you know, I don't have anything, any better armor to go out and get or, or anything else to really accomplish. So, therefore, it's like, eh, you know... I, I lose I lose interest in it. That's just me. I mean it's I don't know why I'm like that, but I mean you know and, and and in a way, you know, having the electrizers and all that shit at the end of the game, you know, it does give you something to work towards or look forward to, but you know, it, it what point is there though once you get there? It's like, yep, I got my Magmar up to level whatever, and he's now a Magmortar, but I don't have any Elite Four members to fight. I mean, you can go back and be five, yes, I know that, you know, but, I mean, there's no real storyline thing or anything like that. Nothing to really test it out against. And that's one of those, that's one of the few problems I have with the game, I mean, when they do shit like that, because it's just, I don't know. I mean, for me... That, like, when I play Pokemon, there's not a whole lot that keeps me around after... Okay. 
bastard. There's not a lot to keep me around after I've beaten everything there is to beat, you know. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm, that's probably the same with everybody, as far as I know. I mean, you know, once you once you get done fighting the Elite Four and you catch all the legendaries, you know, I mean, I've I've never found much of a reason to keep playing after that. So therefore, when I get to that point, it's one of those things where I just want to just stop. Then it's like I'm done. You know, I, I got. I got to where I need to be, so I'm done. There's there's nothing else for me to do. Like the mini games that they have aren't interesting enough. I mean, I don't know. At least for me. I mean, but I mean, it's it's not like I I don't like play a generation or continue playing a generation because I'll just restart the game. Because once again, I mean, I should know by now that I, this is the part of the game that I like. You know, walking through here and fighting the trainers and battling and and shit like that, and getting, you know, gym badges and shit. Those are the things that I really like about the game. You know, the, the I guess, that PvP, you know, shit like that. It just not, doesn't really, doesn't really uh, interest me as much. Is there a goodie over here? Is that why I came over here? No, I just wanted to fight that asshole, apparently. Ooh, grass. No thanks. Fought you already. Goodies right there. Uh, sign that says, yay, dumbass, you're here. We're gonna fight this person and get that goodie right there. And then I think we're done with this route and close to being done with this episode because I've rambled on long enough. But anyhow, um, let's see what this, let's see what this picnicker, Edna, 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 Edna. I do not know what the hell I'm doing with that. I really don't know what I was trying to say or, or do or make funnies about. Really, I don't. It's kind of... I was a kind of lost. There we go, we got wreckage. And we're gonna zen head by these, by the way, in case you didn't quite get that. Ooh, toxic spikes. Smart. I love that move, by the way. I wish more Pokemon could learn it. Or I should say, I wish more Pokemon could learn it. In less pain in the ass ways to teach it, because I think there's only three or four maybe that actually learn it on their move list. And then the rest of them you gotta breed, em, breed it into which is a bitch, and I'm not really into doing all that work. Well, guess who gets to handle this guy? He's gonna break out the Raichu, and we got the mofo for this. And I forgot about the Toxic Spikes. Cause I'm fucking brilliant! You should know that by now. By the way, if I haven't said this before, I really like what they did in Whatever gen it was, it was gen 5, maybe gen 4, when they stopped having your Pokemon, you know, die due to poison and stuff. That was nice. That was fucking nice. You have no idea how nice that shit was. My god. Was I happy when that happened. I mean, I was I was confused as shit too when, when, I, when I first discovered it, because I was like walking and I'm like, Why is my screen not flipping out? What's going on? Did I break it? Did I not get poisoned? I thought I got poisoned. Because I'm freaking getting annoyed by that, I'm, I'm gonna. I am gonna heal. I mean, yeah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, full heal. And wow, he became healthy. No longer, no longer unhealthy. He's no longer fat. He's now a trim, 182 pounds. I don't know where I was going with that. I was just. Shit, that just popped up. Oh, Eradicate. Oh, that's also one. Th did I mention that? Mega Eradicate. That's that's also one that's rumored to be... Rumored to be Megafied. Which, eh, I suppose. Right? I mean, yeah. It is what it is. I mean, that's, that's cool. Oh, I do like seeing, like, the old ones. You know, get, get Megas. I mean, like I said, I think there's a lot of ones like, um... Oh, what do you want to call it? Ooh, this could be bad. There's a lot of ones like, uh... I'm gonna use x Scissor and tough it out here, because I'm not sure how switching into... Okay, holy shit, that did more damage than I thought it would. I was about to say is I'm not really into switching into Hellas and let her take a, um... Whatever the hell that's gonna be. A, uh... A... Earthquake. I wasn't sure if she'd be able to handle that at, at the health she had. So I figured I'd just tough it out with Ellie and, and 
get, well, I'm not going to lucky, but be fortunate to be able to have a favorable switch in here with Polyrath and Mofo. But anyhow, oh, what the hell? Come on. God damn it. Like, ah, no, you don't even want to know all that shit. Nah. 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 That's all I've fucking got to say. You gonna use another submission there, my friend? Yep. I should do damage to him, right? I wanna say it does, yeah. I don't know how you get hit with recoil. Get fucked, asshole. Take that shit. Get out of here. Mm, bullshit hypnosis. Anyhow, I forget what the hell else. Ooh, switch. Switch, switch, switch. All right, Ellie. She brought this guy. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna wing attack it. Ah, get out of here, primate. Get out of here, Grinker. You cute little furball. But anyhow, um. As I was saying about Megas, I'm okay with like Gen 1 Pokemon getting a lot of Megas. Um, but I think everyone's. Everyone would much rather see things like, you know, Quillfish and shit like that get Megas. Just because those are seemingly forgotten Pokemon. When it comes to stats, I'm not saying, you know, usefulness, but stat wise, those are Pokemon that have been kind of. kind of forgotten over the years, and I think they could use a little bit of the help. That's just my personal opinion. I mean, also, I've always wanted to use the quillfish. I don't know why. I think it's cute as fuck. I mean, that's that's one we're gonna have to put on. We're gonna have to put on the fucking bucket list before before we finish all of our finish our fucking YouTube LP career or whatever the hell you want to call it. You know, that's that's something we need to do. We need we need to use a quillfish. Quillfish, 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 quillfish. Cause quillfish is awesome. And it's cute! I mean, come on. I mean, who doesn't like- who doesn't like a quillfish? Who doesn't like a quillfish? And these little fat... spikes... that make you want to cuddle with them. You know? Like, cuddle spikes. Ah, Right? Oh, we should name it that. Cuddle spikes. Now, if only it learned some sort of actual attacking moves. But anyhow! That's a conversation for another day and another time. You made it this far on YouTube. You know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. And remember, the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional.